So this young fighter making the walk here tonight, and he's a very entertaining fighter. He's very adept at staying in the pocket while avoiding significant damage coming back. Certainly, he's made a career of frustrating opponents, stays relaxed in there, leans on the defense, and uses that defensive movement to set up his own offense. You'll see him move that head off the center line, counter beautifully, really more of a counter striker offensively. But his defense will wow you, even when the opposition feels like they have him in range, more often than not, they miss and land less than 25% of their significant strike attempts. With much fanfare, here he is, Michael Gerard Tyson with that patented white towel, the black shorts. This is as good as it gets, Jim. I mean, what an iconic look, right? I mean, it is what our childhood was made of, watching Mike Tyson with that stare with the posse, with the crowd walking to the octagon, ready to go and tear somebody up. Iron Mike Tyson with the white towel, the black shorts, and no socks. Dude, this is what us kids in Louisiana, we looked up to him. He was a hero. It was like he was wearing a cape because he had on the white towel. And I know you've seen some of the training footage. Got a pretty good sprawl. Perhaps that's going to be useful here tonight. A lot of these heavyweights are going to try to take Tyson down. Let's see how it goes for Iron Mike tonight. is ready to go, and that means so are we for our main event. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, the Nightmare. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Iron Mike Tyson. Heard Dean, our referee, for Ready. this one. Ready. Good. All right, so here he is, formerly the baddest man on the planet, former boxing heavyweight champion, Iron Mike Tyson. Look for him to move forward. You know the flurries are coming. He'll employ that signature peekaboo style as he tries to get inside. Takedown defense could be tested. I mean, that's what opponents are going to be looking to do. They're going to try to take Mike Tyson down. Easier said than done. Don't blink or you'll miss this fight. Lands that beautiful jab. Straight to the body by Tyson. Counter left. You got it. Edge of your seat action as expected thus far. Oh man, John, they're trained early. Fast pace here in the early going. Counters now left hook to the head lands. Tyson gets hit with that hook. He's got to be careful here. Just out of range with that uppercut. Sidekick now. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Nice liver shot lands. 
Oh, fighter lands a punch to the head out of the clinch position. Oh, big stick of cop. That's another one. advantage off the top of the show. Certainly pay dividends for him there. Strike lands clean. It won't take many of those. Both fighters start to open up a little bit. Oh, huge strike lands there and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up. But you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh! Oh my goodness! Well, missed on that one. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Unable to connect with the right hook. Pretty good jab. Oh, he's in real trouble now. Oh, nice body shot. Start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now he seems lost. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. And he connects with the punch there. in a single collar tie here. Oh, beautifully done with the hook there by Tyson. Good series of... Oh, not the accuracy to land right there. His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Under a minute to go in what has been a wild round one. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Tyson. Connects with a beautiful jab. Nice job blocking that punch. Oh, another bruising shot right to the body. I wouldn't think you want to take too many more of those. No, John, you gotta, def you gotta defend. You got to address a tactic that has worked this many times this early in a fight. You cannot allow it to continue to build because once that momentum gets going, you will have no way of stopping. And I don't have a lot of muscle over there, so I don't think I could take too many of these if I was a fighter. Well, you need that body like mine if you want to get hit down there. You can't be, you can't be too skinny. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Okay. Relax, recover. He got the better of you with the striking that round. But we're smarter than he is. He's gonna come out and try to do the same thing, but we're gonna be prepared. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Oh! oh! Big right hand. Beautiful combination there. Going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, he's looking to set up that head kick. No good. Oh, big shot lands. Lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Body kick lands. 
sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. to the headlands, flushed there by Tyson. I mean, is this thing on repeat? How many times can you say punch to the head? Oh! He's hurt bad. It's a good right hand right there. Now they separate. Continuing to work the body to great effect. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, some investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Lunges forward with a left there. Dude's in a good flow state, landing punch after punch. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Great block there. All right, so we'll see what sort of defensive response ensues here. He's taken a lot of shots upstairs, and the swelling is there to prove it. Got to keep those hands up. He might want to employ a high guard to try to ensure that the guy's not landing on those spots because the swelling's starting now. It's light, but if he takes many more of these types of shots, it's going to get real bad. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Whiffs on that offering. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Just misses there with the left. Oh, he's hurt bad. Man, he is so bad as it should have been tested early. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. A nasty cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. 20 seconds to go round two. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Oh, entertaining scrap so far. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just not really paying attention on the defensive side has made his opponent look like an absolute world beater. He's a good fighter, but he has never looked fight. this good. And right. that, is, that yeah. is partly because his opponent is not defending. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now moving forward. 
The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to the fighter better. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, he has to evade Stan's pace. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice jab by Tyson. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. Defensive Savant, he blocked that punch. Oh! Big knee! Trying to find a home for that right hand. Oh, he lands another punch there. He's got the reach advantage. Might as well use it, champ. I really hope this man doesn't have to sneeze tomorrow. It is not going to feel good. He has absorbed a whole lot of damage to the body. And oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Overhand block there. Under three minutes now to go on the round. So Iron Mike Tyson's eye is closing up. Connected with a solid strike there. Oh! Cannot take too many of those. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end this one. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Nice straight there by Tyson. Well, you got to think he's going to enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes, and really a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in Yonkers. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to the right now and firing up the video to look at beauty in action. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter is in. Well, oftentimes when you see damage like this, things are critical. We don't always see a referee calling a doctor for body strikes, but maybe this would be a case to call him. This is one of those situations where something abnormal is going to feel pretty good. We don't see it very often, but this is one of those times where the doctor needs to come in and check this guy out. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, the striking clinic continues, and he's wise to attack that already damaged area upstairs. He's attacking that damaged area for the opponent. He's got to get that head moving on an axe. He cannot be straight on the center line. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that fist. Seconds remain in the round. Well, he lands another strike there, DC, and no surprise, the swelling only getting worse. It's getting worse. Oh, you know, we talked about this very early, how he needed to change something. He hasn't changed it, and now the swelling is starting to get bad.
All right, there's the horn. How about that round? He got him badly there early on. You thought that maybe that was gonna be the beginning of the end. At the very least here, gotta think he's gonna try to get him out of here in this next round. J.A., he's on skates. Yeah. I mean, he was on skates. His ability to withstand that avalanche is commendable, but he has to change something as he approaches the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, strike lands cleanly there, champ. Back and forth we go. Oh, oh he is hurting for certain. Nice counter left there. Oh, with authority, the body. Tyson gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Oh, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Great punch. Tyson's taking aim at that cut right now, and they might even have to call in a ringside position. Smart decision by the fighter to continue to attack that compromised area. He does a great job getting out of that clutch position. Oh, big right hook, but a whiff. Caught that kick there. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. Somehow, his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, a big Oh! Oh, he hurt him again, bro. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt. You cannot back off to kick your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick it through. <laughs> well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Oh, oh you got to keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. Oh, beautifully timed with the Superman punch. Both guys appear to land there. Tyson gets caught by that straight hand. His opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and you come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Under two minutes to go. Oh, nice straight punch there by Tyson. Well, you gotta think he might be trying to set up that overhand again. He's found a home for it all night long. Let's see if that holds true. Well, I can't even relate to the mental and physical touch. Oh! Back and forth we go. These two guys are trading huge shots. Let me see that Switch kick lands. Once you get take that many. Oh! Able to check that kick as well. Holding on to right him, not really doing too right much, perhaps just looking to recover. Oh, that would land it, yep. Under a minute to go. Circling away towards the left. Oh! Big right hand there. 
shades of Robbie Lawler versus Rory McDonald as these athletes go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, both dealing with cuss and adversity and trying to fight through it. Absolutely incredible result. So many people say they want to be a fighter. If I'm trying to convince somebody not to do it, I will show them this fight. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very bad with him. Final seconds of round four. Nice block. Tyson's eye is really not looking good right now, Daniel. Right. Starting to swell Stop. shut, and that is going to compromise his vision as this fight continues. Well, we've got to think some bonus money is coming the way of these two athletes at night's end, and remarkably, they've both been able to stay in the fight despite absorbing a shit ton of damage. I mean, the amount of damage that these two have taken in this fight is crazy. They've been able to stand on a coin and go toe for toe in the middle of the octagon. And as usual, they gave our replay guys in the truck a lot to work with. Yeah, a lot to work with because neither one of them have tried to use defense. They're proving how tough they are, but they really aren't using the skills that will allow for them to be fighting for a long time. You got to keep moving your head. You cannot take these type of heavy strikes so frequently. And it looked like maybe one of those coaches thought about getting involved. They're going to be watching the action closely as these two absolute warriors and damaged athletes try to get the upper hand in this next round. Fifth and final round, fourth coming. That is a damaging kick that man. Oh, nice low kick. Cable inches right there. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. The cut. All right, so there it is with the punch. One thing to have a reach advantage, another two employ. Beautiful jab land. Well, he's not leaking information. He is leaking blood and a lot of it as his opponent continues to realize success. I mean, he's finding so much success striking in that area of the face. His eye is so damaged. The blood is pouring everywhere. This has become very, very dangerous for him. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up to them. He landed it perfectly. Perfect place. Perfect position. What a huge blow and a big moment in this fight. Back to his feet. separation. Well, I'm not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. Feels like the finish is there for the taker. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. And in that patience, you'll find a punch or kick that will put your opponent out. Well, let's see if he goes to set up the hook again. He has really done a nice job punctuating his combinations with that hook tonight. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy anymore. Snapped off the jab nicely there. Oh, Fourth we go. Oh man, that cut is nasty. Tyson gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive, he's hurt so bad. He's got to find safety, find a way that you can recover. Oh, just open it up on him now. Under two minutes now to decide this one. Straight right hand, no good. Uh. 
great block there. Massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. And a miss with the right hook. Well, maybe he'll look to set up that hook again. Final round, final minute. What a fight it has been. And hard for the referee to get the ball from being speed out on both sides. I mean, it's so evenly matched. These guys have done such a great job of staying in the fight. There have been many moments in this fight where you thought one of them just did not have enough. Look at all the blood. Look at all the bruising on these two fighters. These guys have done a tremendous job. This is a fight of the night candidate. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, Josh. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Big knee lands to the body. Those knees. 20 seconds to go in the fight. 15 seconds. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. What a fight! 25 minutes turned in. Official decision now in, the buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Iron Mike Tyson! So Iron Mike Tyson getting it done in the UFC yet again. I know a lot of people had some pause when he transitioned from boxing to mixed martial arts, but the proof is in the pudding. A 